Hello again, folks, and congratulations on completing week one for English 101. Um, I did receive the drafts to your first paper, both the written and the visual components, so I'll be giving you commentary and feedback on those within the next few days. Um, for this video, uh, we're looking ahead now as we're uh, you know, moving along into week two, and I have another writing exercise for you folks. Um, and this particular exercise focuses primarily on the readings uh, that we've had. So I know some folks were trying to uh, still acquire the textbook. Make sure you get caught up on the readings uh, as soon as you receive the textbook. Uh, this particular writing exercise, again, it's under collaboration, under the forums, uh, in recent postings. And so you're actually given a, a choice for this week. So there's two prompts here. Uh, just write and respond on one of them. And the first one is I want you to locate a phrase, a sentence, a concept, a key word, whatever it might be, uh, that you think is interesting, intriguing, or crucial to the understanding of this one section of our textbook called Reflection Texts. Uh, and that's on pages 66 to 91. So there's a, a series of different readings and examples that are a part of that particular section. And the paper you folks just did was, in essence, a reflection piece, right? You were uh, giving us uh, a narrated series of events uh, or talking about a person or some particular experience, but also having to reflect back on it as to what it meant and how it contributed to who you feel that you are now as a person. Um, so really this is kind of unraveling that thread a little bit more. Um, so first again, locate that phrase, sentence, concept, keyword, but then also justify your selection. So what made it particularly interesting or intriguing or insightful and why did you select it? What made you have a connection with it? Uh, and lastly, in brief, discuss your overall impression of the pieces as a whole. What things did you learn about that maybe you hadn't necessarily known about before and what struck you in terms of the stories and the connections, etc. Okay. The second prompt that you could write to, uh, it's not necessarily from the textbook, but it is responding to this little reading that I have here, this little passage. Um, and so this is a passage uh, by Malcolm X from a larger work of his called Homemade Education. And for those that don't know, um, Malcolm X, uh, for a time in his life, in his youth, uh, was jailed. Uh, he was in prison. And instead of that opportunity being uh, a negative in his life, he took that opportunity and made it into a positive, uh, you know, having the opportunity to read voraciously and learn about a lot of different kinds of things, to really educate himself uh, within that environment uh, of a jail, of a prison. And so it, you know, even though that was during, you know, uh, 50s, you know, um, and, and that particular time in the 20th century in America, it, it begs some, some other questions, right, about, again, what the value is of a, a college education. You know, there's all kinds of debates that are happening right now as to, is it worth it? You know, is a college education worth it? Um, you know, and, and what, is, what is the purpose? Is it more for professional training now? Uh, and less for that idea of educating citizens, right, you know, to be a well-rounded, educated person, um, and to contribute and function within society. Is it a combination of these kinds of things, right? And so the posting you had for last week got at that question a little bit, asking you, you know, what role does education play in your life? And what, edu what role does education you feel play in, in, the, in society in some sort of way? So this is a particular passage by Malcolm X getting at that idea of a college education and what value it has. And granted, we're removed by several years from this quote, but it still has some credence, I think, today uh, and begs that question again. So in your response, you know, just do you agree or disagree with the assertions that Malcolm X makes in this brief passage? Uh, why do you agree or disagree? Uh, do his comments conflict with or support your own comments from that posting that you had last week about the role of education in life? In society. So, excuse me, I know in previous, uh, in the previous week I had told you folks, you know, just look at the exercises, try them on your own, don't necessarily worry about posting them. I would like to see your responses for this week. I would like you folks to attempt one of these and go ahead and post it to this forum so we can see and get a sense of uh, how you feel about these things and what you maybe found interesting in the readings or how you respond to Malcolm X's work here. Um, so, go ahead and do that. Um, the next series of videos, I'll introduce you folks to what the next assignment is going to be, as well as introduce you to some concepts surrounding rhetoric, uh, because the next paper you're going to do is a rhetorical analysis. So we need to talk about those things a little bit. Again, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to email me, okay? Thanks, folks. I'll see you next time.